Did you know that you can go directly to my YouTube channel by visiting bitemybits.tech? I love it because it's easy to remember and the .tech domain extension fits my channel perfectly, as I imagine it would for most techies out there. The best thing about the .tech extension is that it's easy to build up your brand with the name that you want which means it's not as flooded as .coms are, so you have a much higher chance of getting the domain name that you need. If you want to get your own .tech domain, head on over to www.get.tech. Make sure to use the code BMB at checkout and you will get 90% off your domain for one year or five year registrations. In today's video, I am talking about unlocking your consumer grade NVIDIA based GPU to have unlimited transcoded streams with your Plex media server. Now, somebody actually sent the link to me showing me how to do this on Twitter, so mucho gracias, senor. But it was much more complicated than I anticipated, mainly because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing when it comes to Linux. I try my hardest, and Google is my friend, but in reality, I'm a Linux idiot. So today's video, I will actually tell you the steps that I took to get this working, but I do want to add a disclaimer here and say that it's probably not the best way, the most efficient way. It might even not be the right way, but it's how I got it to work. So, you know, try not to hate me too much for what I did. Now to give you a quick rundown, I did do this on my spare computer, which is a 5960X, the X99 platform, running my 980Ti from Zotac. And this is actually very important because depending on what graphics card you have really depends on what you can actually do with your Plex media server when it comes to transcoding streams. And what I mean by that is if you have like 4K HVAC encoded and it's got like 4-4 color or whatever, I mean, I'll link in the description. I mean, it's, it's a breakdown of what each GPU is capable of handling. So for example, the 9 series can handle quite a bit, but the 10 series can handle, well, everything. And why I think that this video is important, even if you take more efficient steps to achieve the same goal, I think it's important because you can basically build a Plex Media server with a decent CPU and let's say a 1080 Ti, and you can get some pretty rock solid high performance out of your Plex Media server using pretty much only hardware transcoded streams. And to me, that's kind of a big deal because, you know, you can spend a lot of money upgrading your processor to handle more and more streams, but really it's just not as efficient as a GPU is because, you know, a GPU is built for decoding and encoding video. And I know I've already said it once, but again, I do not know Linux. I am a Linux idiot. I'm a moron. So if you want to flame me for, you know, doing the wrong thing or doing it the wrong way or whatever, save your breath or your fingers. Basically, I know I'm doing this wrong, but I got it to work and I recreated my steps and got it to work again and recorded the footage that I needed to record this video. Now, before I jump in, I do want to say that unfortunately, so far, as far as I know, this only works on Ubuntu, which really kind of sucks for me because I'm a huge Unraid guy. But right now, as far as I know, it only works on Ubuntu. If anyone out there actually knows how to get this to work for Unraid, please post them in the comments down below because I would love to figure this out. So on today's test, I am using my spare computer as I stated before, but I'm also running Ubuntu 18.04, I believe. And I'm utilizing Nvidia Graphics Driver 396.24. And also one more thing, this is a Plex Pass feature. So if you do not have a Plex Pass, you probably wanna sign up if this is something that you want to explore. And if you do sign up, I would definitely appreciate it if you use my links down below. So in fear of me rambling on more, let's jump right in. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna showcase how Ubuntu acts if you just install it and you don't utilize any kind of NVIDIA drivers, you install Plex and you enable the hardware encoding. So without any kind of NVIDIA drivers activated, it just, it doesn't do any hardware transcoding. However, if you go into the software and updates app, you can select the NVIDIA driver. Of course you wanna reboot it. And in this case I used P sensor so I can monitor my CPU and GPU. From here you can see that two of my test streams are being hardware transcoded. Now I did this just for the purpose of showcasing what it's like without doing this patch. So moving forward, I did a fresh install of Ubuntu. I logged in and then I hit Control Alt F3 to switch to the terminal. I logged in again, I typed in sudo s to gain root access, and then I purged all NVIDIA drivers. However, it did show that zero were removed. So then I wanted to disable the default video driver, so I created a new text file. And by the way, all of these command lines will be down in the description below. And in this new text file, I entered in these two lines of text. Now, 
Once you get this text entered in, you can save this file by hitting Control O. Then to exit out, hit Control X. And then you have to update something, don't understand it, but I typed in update dash I N I T R A M F S space dash U. And as soon as that was done, I typed in reboot and hit enter. Once everything's done rebooting, I logged into the main GUI. I hit control alt F3 to get back to terminal. And then I logged back into root by typing sudo space dash S. From here, I want to create a new directory and I want to navigate to that directory. So I type in mkdir space slash opt slash nvidia space two and signs space cd space slash opt slash nvidia. And now that I'm in this new folder, I want to download the NVIDIA driver directly. So I type in wget and the super long URL that downloads the 396.24 NVIDIA driver. Again, everything is in the description down below. After that's done, I type chmod space plus x space dot slash and then the name of the file. And from here, I actually tried to run the file per the instructions, but as soon as I ran it, I got an error that said I was lacking CC. Whatever the hell that might be. So after a little bit of Google research, I found out that I needed to try to install four different applications to make sure they were in the system. So I typed in apt-git space gcc. As soon as that was done, I typed in apt-git space b-i-n-u-t-i-l-s. And then I ran app-git again for make. And then app-git again for Linux-source. Once all of those were installed, I reran the NVIDIA installer. This time everything seemed to go pretty decent. I did have to click through a couple errors that apparently didn't matter, but I did end up choosing to install and overwrite the existing LIBGLVND libraries. Libigavind. Libigavind. But once everything confirmed it was completed, I typed in reboot and hit enter. Once I was back into the system, I logged in and I launched Firefox. From here, I navigated to github.com slash k-e-y-l-a-s-e slash nvidia dash patch. And this is all lowercase, so don't screw up. I clicked the green button that allowed me to download the zip file and I extracted the patch to my documents folder. Once I had the patch, I hit Control Alt F3 again, logged in again, and I navigated to my document folder. And then just to double check to make sure I was on the correct driver, I ran NVIDIA SMI to check the version. Once I verified that it was correct, I was an idiot and I tried to install the patch, completely failed, and realized that I was not logged in as root. So definitely log in as root. So you type sudo space dash s log in. And then you type in BASH space period slash patch dot SH space dash S. And if it says patched at the bottom of the text, you are good to go. From here, you just want to type in reboot, allow the system to do its thing, and then if you don't already have Plex installed, get it installed and start your test. And for me, my testing included utilizing a movie file that I stored on the SSD, the one that I installed Ubuntu on, that is a 15 megabit per second file. And I took this file and I transcoded it down to 10 megabits per second. And just for this video, I actually launched Microsoft Edge and Microsoft Internet Explorer, so I didn't have any kind of weird hiccups with the browsers. And with four video files playing on each browser, I was able to achieve 12 total transcoded streams at the same time, all of which being hardware transcoded. It was all through this. It was beautiful. And the best thing about this is that at 12 streams, I was getting like anywhere between 33 to 43, sometimes 53% utilization on my graphics card, which is why I didn't go past 12 streams because I'm just like, what am I gonna do? Load up like 20, 30 streams and, and see how far I can push this. 
It seemed a little excessive. The point was, is that all of them were running off the graphics card and my CPU was just not working that hard. It seemed to hover around that 40%, but it usually hovered between, I don't know, 30 to 50%. So this literally unlocked the stupid NVIDIA two stream limitation that, I, that they implement in their drivers, which is amazing and kind of like opens up some possibilities for my next Plex Media server. I mean, if you think about it like this, I mean, if you have one, I don't know if this works with multiple GPUs, but if you have one of these, maybe a 1080 Ti to get the most bang for your buck, as far as HVAC or 4K or color spaces or whatever. And I really just kind of need like a medium grade CPU to handle some of the basics, but the rest of graphics card handles everything. And when I was running 12 different streams, it just, it wasn't breaking a sweat. That's amazing. And even though I'm a huge Unraid fan, I don't know, I'm considering my next server, maybe I wanna run Ubuntu. I mean, seriously, like unlocking and utilizing a GPU, especially one that I have, this is literally a spare graphics card for me. But if I can utilize this and get 12 streams running at 40 to 50% utilization, I mean, that's hard to argue with. I know that there are some people out there who might argue and say that, you know, hardware transcoded streams are a lesser quality than regular transcoded streams. And I can't confirm or deny that because I haven't really looked at it that close, but I can say this, when I was watching it, it looked great. And if unless I was just comparing it side by side, I don't know if I would notice a difference. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but for right now, it looks pretty good. This is kind of like a weird territory because I chose Unraid because it allows me to use a, a ton of hard drives and get the most bang for my buck when it comes to storage per hard drive gained. And it actually allows me to add to that storage if I ever buy a new hard drive on a whim. So it's really hard to give up the file system that Unraid uses. So again, if anybody can figure out how to get this patch to work to utilize a consumer grade NVIDIA graphics card on Unraid, let me know in the comments down below. I would really, really like to figure that out. But hey, that's all for today. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, post them down below. Like when it comes to Linux, I seriously, I'm an idiot. So if you ask me a Linux question, I can't answer it. I mean, I Google everything. So anything you're gonna ask me, ask Google and you have a much better response. But hey, if you know how to get this to run on Unraid, I definitely wanna hear about it. As always, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe, and have yourself a good day.